What's up everybody? This is Gunter Severlo. Today I'm going to show you how to set up and create individual tasks. Let's go to the editor and to Stratus. And let's go to the 2D map. And we're going to choose this location for our mission. Alright, so what we're going to do is place soldiers inside this building along with a cache and those will be our targets. The first thing we need to do is we need a player and we're going to place a grenadier and we don't need to do nothing with the player. Next we're going to go to independent and we're going to choose FIA faction. Go to men and we're going to place down four soldiers. So the first one is going to be an officer then a rifleman, then a grenadier, and then an auto rifleman. Next, go to props, type in ammo, and we're going to go down to FIA ammo cache, and place the ammo. Now that we have our targets placed that we want to use for objectives, we're going to name each individual one of these. So let's start with the officer. Double click him. And you want to go to the variable name at the top here. And let's give him a name. So he's an officer, so I'm going to name him OF. Press OK. For the rifleman, we're going to name him RM. Press OK. For the grenadier, we're going to name him Gren. Next one. For the auto rifleman, we're going to name MG. Press OK. And we're going to name the ammo cache. Cache. Press OK. And that's it for the naming. Now let's go to the 2D map. And we're going to place these guys into various spots in the building itself. And since they're all highlighted, let's raise them up. That way we don't have to do it individual, individually. So this is the officer. And we're going to move him over here. That's good. This is the rifleman. Move him over here for now. Then we have the grenadier. We're going to place him over here and face him in this direction. Next we have the auto rifleman and we're going to move him down over here, make him face this way. Next is the ammo cache and we're going to place that down here. And let's go to the rifleman him over here a little bit and face this direction. Alright, so that's it for the placement. That's it for the naming. Next, let's go to the 2D map and move out a little bit. And we're going to go to F5 systems and then to Intel and then to create task. Place that on the map and double click it. So this one is going to be created. This is your state that you want. The owner is important. You need to set that. This is going to be blue four because the player is blue four. Task ID you can ignore because one will be created. You don't need to worry about this. And title. The title is the first line that you see in the in game when you look at the task list. So this one will be kill the officer and then when you click on a title for a task in game uh, a description usually is under that so let's give this guy a description we're gonna name that locate and kill the officer 
And then let's go down to marker. Don't need to do nothing there. Uh, module destination. We don't need to worry about that. Usually I like to set those as disabled because those are best used when you have like far distances to go to, but it's it's up to you. But just read what it says and go from there. Task type is an icon that you put on the map that you'll see on the map for the task. You'll see it in game. So since we have to kill this guy, kill would be perfect for this. And then we just press OK. Next we want set task state module, which is at the bottom. And I'm going to place that right here. And then you're going to sync this to the create task module and then open this. So currently it's at created. We already have one that says created. We're going to make this one say succeeded. So you just click on that box and press OK. That's it for that. Next we need a trigger. So let's go to F3 triggers. And we don't need a trigger for any particular size. We just need a trigger. So we just put the trigger up here. And this trigger you're going to sync to the, the set test state module. And let's open the trigger by double clicking it. Now in the condition, which is all you're going to worry about, you're going to put alive, alive, OF. So remember exclamation point, alive, OF, and OF is the name of the officer. And then press OK, and that's it. Now to save time, we have four other objectives because we have five total we have four other objectives so what you do is draw a box around this press control C which will copy it and then you press control V to paste it four five so we get five total so let's move these up here just a little bit and now what you want to do is name these individually so Let's go to the trigger for the second one, and all you need to do is name this one. So this one we're going to name uh, RM, which is the name of the rifleman, and press OK. And we're going to go to Create Task, and this is going to be Kill the Rifleman, Rifleman, and then for the description, Locate and Kill the Rifleman. And this one is, you could just leave that one as it is. So let's go to the next trigger. Next trigger will be the Grenadier. So this one will type in Gren, just the name of the Grenadier. And everything else you can leave as is. Press OK. And we'll go down to Create Task. And we change the, the description of the title. Kill the Grenadier. OK, and kill the Gren Adir. Press OK. The next one is the Auto Rifleman. So this one we're going to change to MG because that was the name. The rest is good. I go down to Create Task. And this one will name Kill the Auto Rifleman. And locate and kill the auto rifleman. And all this is good. Just press OK. Next, we'll go to the trigger for the last one. And this one we're going to name Cash. Press OK. And then we go to Create Task. And since this one, we basically are going to be destroying a cache, we need to rename it. So this will be destroy the cache. And this one will be, for the description, will be locate and destroy the ammo cache. Period. So nothing to do here. We could change the task type to uh, destroy, which is here. 
destroy. And then just pre press OK. Next, we need a, another trigger. And this one is for no size. Just place the trigger right here. And this is this trigger basically will be what ends our mission. So under condition, don't worry about the rest. Under condition, we're going to type in alive and of and then and. So at alive, of for the officer and two and signs. Now to make this quick, instead of having to type it all out because we got four other to type in, press control C and then control V and then you just change the name of the the name of the target. So this one will be the rifleman, so RM and space, control V. And this will be the grenadier, so Gren. And then space control V. This will be the auto rifleman, so this will be MG. And then our last one will be the cache. Control V, and then this will be named Cash. And then we have to end it with a semicolon. So we have the officer, the rifleman, the grenadier, machine gunner, or the auto rifleman, and the cache. And now we go to on activation. You put two brackets, a left and a right, press space, type in call. And space, and type in bis underscore fnc underscore end mission, and then semicolon to close the code. All right, so now that we have that, you just press OK, and I'm gonna go to attributes, click on general, and independent is allegiance to. Blue 4, we don't want that because independent is the FIA. The, these guys are our enemies, so we're going to make them not allied. Just press OK. And then we're going to save this. And this is on this is on Stratus. I'm going to name this Create Task Demo and Save. Alright, so let's play this and see how it turns out. Let's go to the map and go to task and you see our tasks will show up in the list based on the order of how we did them. So for each task you have the title here, description, you got the title, description, title, description, title and description title and description and then you see the icons here are the symbols that we used in the tasks so let's go in the mission and test this out all right that was the first task kill the rifleman and that was the grenadier Kill the Grenadier now. Throw a grenade in there. I killed the auto rifleman, so now he's there. And you can see the cache up there. We're not going to destroy that yet. We got the officer right here. And that killed the officer. Fired for that. And next is the cash. Step back here for that. And that destroyed the cash. Go to our list. See the cash has been destroyed. And that completes the end ends the mission. Alright guys, I want to Thank you for watching the video and I hope that uh, this helped you figure out and learn how to set up different tasks and stuff for your missions. I will see you guys on the next mission.
in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.